Hello dear all, welcome to the very first um, Wednesday live video <laughs> of this year from me, Kalida. And this, this will be a special series that I will be doing, hopefully, if all goes well, once per month, every last Wednesday of the month of this year, 2021, where we will dive into dance and rhythms. I found a t-shirt that fits, it's mirrored, but it says, the rhythm is gonna get you. <laughs> so I hope, I hope this, uh, this is my goal for the series. Hi Jane, hi, hi Vanessa. My goal is to familiarize you with some of my favorite rhythms and um, give you some tips on how to dance comfortably on them. I also want to say before we, before we get going, as a bit of, um, how to say it, expectation management, Hi Mayan, hi hi, hi Vanessa. Expectation management is important. This is not going to be uh, your one-stop solve all your problems around rhythms series. It's not possible to do that in 30 minutes per month. Hi Miko, hi Gary, hi Beata. Um, so it's, it's not complete. It doesn't have all the rhythms that are important to say for oriental dances. It has a few rhythms and it doesn't have all the background behind the rhythms or costuming tips or uh, where it comes from and all that because rhythms in itself, it's an art form, it's a musical, a very broad, a very deep topic. But I hope this series is a beginning, a spark, and it will hopefully inspire you to learn more because it's a self-study journey actually and i don't think there is one teacher who can tell you everything about rhythms not not even uh, i would say a musician i think it's better something like this to take classes with more than one teacher find those who are specialized in certain topics and mix it up and this way you will get a more complete image because rhythms are they alive they change like music and also there's discussions about some rhythms, how they are played, what they are for. So I would recommend widening your vision and going deep only for those that interest you most so you don't get overwhelmed. So you just pick and choose a start and then you can go wherever you want. Hi Sabine, hello, hi Miko. Miko, cheers. I have my, <laughs> my dream boost mug today. So what we are going to do today in the first class of this series will be a bit different than the other ones. Today I want to give a bit of an introduction on what we are going to do and mix it up with what we are doing with Boost, which is my online class system for strength, flexibility and dance. That's what I am, uh, what I work on for myself and I share with my online students is uh, if every month a different part of the body that we open up and we move. And this month we work on upper body, January. So we will, hi Caroline. Uh, so yes, cheers. So this month, January, we will combine upper body movements with rhythms, if it's at all possible. <laughs> this is a bit experimental, hopefully it works. And um, this series will be free. It will stay in the group for the whole year, until the end of the year. So you can enjoy it, review it. If you want to do something for me to thank me for these classes, I know some of you already wanted to buy it. Um, what you can do instead of giving me monies for this, <laughs> this series, you can support Dance for Children, which is my, um, my passion project. I am part of a team of three people, Coralie, Tammy and me. And together we are Dance for Children. It's a team that has existed for 10 years with different people before I was part of it. But I now support them through online courses. I am gathering guest classes from different people. Thank you for the hearts. Hi, Ka. Hi Ella. Hi, Karen. So I'm gathering online classes from guest teachers in our channel. And people can purchase those. You can join them for free in our Facebook group. I'll add a link. But then afterwards, if you purchase a class, it the the how to say it <laughs> the proceeds whatever you donate goes in full so without us taking anything it goes in full to the good causes that we support and this year it's chameleon philippines so if you want to support us get a class from dance for children's channel there's a lot there's ballet there's workouts by johanna and there will be more there will be more but there's a big list already samba jalabina everything you want and uh, next to that you can also just follow Dance for Children, like their post, like my post, share my post, because in this age, you as viewers 
and participants, hi Maya, you have the power to spread the word, literally, because it makes a lot of difference in Facebook if someone likes something or loves something, comments on something or shares something, it does spread the word. So you have the power, if you like something and want to support it, you can do it. Even if you don't think it makes a lot of difference, it does in these days. Every heart counts. <laughs> so thank you for everyone who is here because if you view this, you already helped to spread the word. So share this video, share everything that you like. There. Hi Joyce. <laughs> what we will do is we will warm up our bodies a bit. I will put on rhythms. Today is a special day and we will move our upper body to the rhythms, even though that's not how you would dance to it. We'll go to, into that in the next month. But it will hopefully help you feel that even the upper body, just a part of your body, moves differently for different rhythms and uh, how different rhythms feel will help you dance to them with more confidence and then you can get the background info separately hi Priska you made it good okay let's do this let's do this whoop the light was bright yes I'm back I'm back to normal so <laughs> to start I have to make this class compact I cannot do an hour so let's shake out hands and feet while I talk because I'm doing an interview with our next guest teacher for Online for Children. His name is Dennis, or Mr. D. I cannot pronounce his last name, but he is the partner of Johanna, our previous guest teacher for Dance for Children. And he will teach us how to train with kettlebells, which is something that I've been doing for my body health and something we do in Boost. So if you are interested in kettlebell basics, which I think every dancer should at least try. I'm opening up the hands because it translates into the shoulders. Then check out our interview today at instagram.com slash online for children. Sliding the hips. And you will get to know him. He's, he's very funny and he's a very interesting dude. He's also a great teacher. And he has come from full-time desk worker like me into a full-time movement person now like me. So it's always interesting to know that it's never too late. It's never too late to start moving and to start moving more. Okay, let's bend. <laughs> let's bend. I'm a bit overexcited because I'm nervous about interviewing. It's new for me. <laughs> it will hopefully become easier. Lama Bara, yes, I'm taking one of my favorite rhythms. Do you know the rhythm? Anyone? Of this song? Bonus points if you do. You can write it in the comments. I'll stop talking so you can hear it. Hi Melek. Does anyone know this rhythm? Used in Lama Bara. Let's go back. Chest diagonally up. Let's inhale. Yes, what is it? <laughs> tell us, tell us. Yes. Samai, exactly. Samai Takil, which is one of the rhythms we will get into later in the year. So, um, this we do for. <laughs> This movement we do for Korean sword to mix up with the arts. I'm crossing my arms, grabbing my fingers, and then I try to unroll without letting go. It's very good for, <laughs> for opening up this whole line. It helps the shoulders. You will get to know it, Vanessa. This will be one of the topics that's coming up later in this year. Shake it out, shake it out. Let's roll the shoulders. One, two, three. Roll, roll. One, two, three. Let's do hips. Hips. One, two, three. Yes, Joyce, you know it from Forzenka's Dreams Cafe, I wanted to say. <laughs> Dance Cafe. Open up and breathe and shake out, shake 
And shake out, shake out, shake out. Shoulders. Yes. Okay, so the song we just heard is Lama Bada. The band that plays it, I was able to dance with them live, is called House of Tarab. And you can get the CD on their website and they have beautiful, beautiful music. There's two albums right there. Yes, Dreamscape, I know. Until we can go again to Crete with Bozenka, it'll be Dreamscape. But we will keep you going. Bozenka was live today, check it out. And um, <laughs> so we keep on dancing until we meet again. Today, I will be putting on rhythms from uh, Roland and Leila Giovanna's CD Rhythm and Drums because you can hear the rhythms very clearly. And I want you to guess or write, if you know, just write it, the rhythm that you hear, and we will move our upper body in slightly different ways for each rhythm. And I hope to get this done <laughs> in about 20 minutes, so you have a little start and also a little movement for the upper body if you're a boosty. Okay? Okay? Now let's, yes, let's try this. First of all, for those of you who just tuned in and who are not quite sure what we're going to do, what is a rhythm? <laughs> yes, what we call a rhythm for belly dancing is um, comprised of different sounds on one frame drum. Let me get one. Let me get one. So, <laughs> in classical dance, it was a rick, like a tambourine that you can drum on. That was the heartbeat of the music. Later on, this became a frame drum that became louder. So the music changed over time and also the dancing changed over time. Rhythms came more important after the golden era time. So they became uh, the heartbeat of the orchestra, but before that it was more melodic, more in the background. Anyway, more and more rhythms developed over time, but they all have two things in common that you can recognize them from. And so their, their signature, are the dooms and the techs. And that's the two main sounds you can make on a drum. I'm not gonna do it because it will just confuse you. I have not drum for a long time. But in theory, the doom is in the middle and it's a deep sound, doom. It's done with a relaxed flat hand. And the tech is done on the edge, tech, uh, sharp and fast. Well, let me try it. I'm sorry if this doesn't work to all musicians out there. No, the one with the, the reverb, the last one, that was more or less a doom. It's supposed to be boom. Tech is on the edge. It's sharper and the pitch is higher. So it's completely different sounds from the same genius instrument. Yes. And with these dooms and techs, you can build all the rhythms and you can recognize them. There's more stuff played in between, but if you can find the doom, <laughs> find your doom, that's where you start. If you find the first doom, you already have um, an idea of what's to come. And we will have three rhythms, three categories of rhythms in this series that'll help you structure it. There's the shorter, faster rhythms that repeat after two steps. If you would step on it, short rhythms. The medium rhythms would give you four steps before it repeats. And then you have the longer rhythms, which feel slower and are more improvised, there will be eight steps or 10 for some eye. So the, you have short ones, usually traveling or uh, fast beat music, medium ones, which you will know from all pop and belly dance and some folklore, and the longer ones, which feel more classical and more, more free. And we'll get in all of that, but not today. Today we will just listen to a couple, move our upper bodies, and hopefully you will recognize already a few. Yes, Roland and Leila, they're super nice people and I, I, have, um, I have been able to study in their festival uh, with some of my favorite dancers. So they hosted a big festival in Europe, only 45 minutes from here. So I'm really lucky to know them and this city is great. I use it for teaching when I was still doing with big glasses. Okay, yes, and Roland is super funny. So look them up, look them up. I'll add a link. First rhythm of the day, I'll let you listen to it. <laughs> I have to make it louder. Anyone? If you step on it, step with me. 
it feels like you're going somewhere, yes? If you would walk around on it, it's a pretty upbeat pace. So you could travel with this. Anyone know the rhythm? <laughs> I'm just walking. Malfouf, yes. Yes, Gary. And the 2-4, that means it's one of the shorter, repeating after two steps. Yes, Malfouf, very good. One of the shorter rhythms, repeating after two steps. This one is typical for traveling, so we will do that next week, uh, next month, sorry, in February. We will Malfouf around and do some nice movements that I like to do on this rhythm. So you have something to start. If you would move your upper body to Malfouf, um, for dancing, it will give you, a, I would say, an open posture. You're entering the stage, you present yourself almost like ballet, so you make yourself big. It's not really uh, internal, it's external and it travels. So if you were doing just accents on La Fouf in a drum solo, you could translate this traveling openness into the accents that we're working on at the moment in Boost. So I would say movements that go out diagonally to have this posture of traveling. So what I do is, hands on the hips, I slide my chest to the front and I aim it up diagonally as, as you would do for flutters. Yes, so you have to lift your rib cage, not tilt it, but you lift the whole thing to the front and then you pull diagonally. So this becomes a long line. Let's try that. And if you're there and you move, it's a good stretch and also it will give you the impulse to the front. And that's what you want. It's also good for turns and for a veil entrance. So imagine veil, imagine you're traveling across the stage. Use this posture and then we'll walk like that. Upper body for malfouf. <laughs> just one minute because this is tiring. Let's just do the accents. Up and out. With stepping. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now keep the chest as it is. Keep the stepping. And walk with this. With your chest out to the front. You will feel like you're being pulled and flying forward. Arms wide open. Now try the opposite. Let it sink in and try to travel fast. It's like you're being pushed back, yes? So you want chest out, diagonally, you fly like a swan. You take in the space. Completely different feeling, yes? And it fits the rhythm better. Walk around in small figure eights. If your living room is small like mine, I can only do like this. Yes, and then shake out. Could you feel the difference, yes? If you were walking with the chest in and down, it's almost impossible to go from your spot. And if your center of gravity changes like this, and also your body tension changes like this, it opens the chest. And so just changing your upper body will help you with malfouf to dance to it as it is meant to be. Because if you try to malfouf walk like this, almost impossible but change the upper body and now it's harmonious so you don't need to you don't need to know the whole background of Malfouf yet before dancing to it and making it feel uh, making it feel right do you know what I mean this is what my goal will be for this series I cannot give you all <laughs> I'm sorry it's not my specialty but my specialty is translating movement uh, to music in my way so it will hopefully give you some uh, beginning. Yes, 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 yes. For me also. If I don't do this, I, I get stuck, stuck glued to the floor. And you can use it uh, to your advantage for different rhythms. Let's try another one. I think this is fun. It's a bit experimental, <laughs> as everything I do, but I like it, I like it. Okay, completely different. Also a short rhythm. Let me hear. I'll groove a bit to it so you can hear it better. Yes, 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 yes. Can you feel that this is different from the previous one? Feels a bit more heavy, yes? It's also two steps. If you step, 
maybe a bit slower, but not much. But it's more, more earthy, yes. If I would to do this, it feels like I'm separated too much. Yes, sir. Let it go for a couple more seconds. Shake it out. <laughs> Try this. Body out and stepping on it. Or relax and stepping on it. Yes, catch up later, Tatiana. It will stay here in the group until the end of the year. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> so this one, as you might feel, doesn't work quite the same. It's also two steps, but it feels like you have to come in a bit more. Yes, Lynn, I love it too. It, uh, when I had problems with my neck, I, some of you know, the boosties know that I have been working my way out of pain because my spine was uh, out of alignment. I was not able to do any czar when I started dancing, so I don't use it now because I just, I'm not familiar with it, but I could move it. But what I do notice also, even if you don't do the hair movements, with your body language, you can embody czar or you can embody malfouf, for instance. And what I notice for myself, if I do czar, it's more personal. It's more personal. Czar is uh, like, um, it's not even a dance rhythm per se. This is why <laughs> it's so broad. This is more, uh, um, it's a ritual. It's used for expelling um, bad feelings, which you could call demons, but it's uh, to re reset your energy as a person for yourself. So it's very personal, which means it's not the same as presenting yourself as the princess of dance, which is what Malfouf is more for. So you, <laughs> you, you become a completely different dancer if you dance to this rhythm versus the other. And it's all you. We are uh, complex beings. We don't have to be just one or the other. The rhythm is gonna get you <laughs> and you will get the rhythm. You will have different aspects of yourself come out when the music changes. So it's not just the visuals that influence us, it's also the sounds. Yes, it smells also. Okay, geeking out. <laughs> I think we'll not do all the rhythms today, but we will go deeper in each one. So for Zar, my tip for today is, it's inside, it's personal, and we will work on Zar in the second uh, edition. So in March, Zar, and movements with the upper body, head we will do carefully, but it's more about the feeling. We will do that in March. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> let's go on, moving on. This is the medium length rhythm. If you can find the repeat, stepping. I'm doing four steps now. One, one. Boom, boom, boom. The dooms, boom, 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 boom. Are uneven, two and then one. One, two, one. That's why you need four steps before you get to the repeat. Yes, melody or other name. <laughs> for, the, for the smart pants, it has um, it has different names. Among dancers, it's called balladie often because we use it in balladie style dancing. And among drummers, um, they get confused if you ask them for a balladie because in a balladie progression, there's different rhythms from the same length. Yes, Masmudi Sagir is this one, this particular one, but you could also have a Maksu. Uh, Doom, tek, tek, doom, with only one doom and one doom, or a Saidi. Doom, tek, doom, doom, tek, all in a ballad. So if you say to a musician, give me ballad, they're like, which part? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's good to know uh, that um, ballad equals Masmudi Sagir, small Masmudi, for dancers. For drummers, ballad equals all the rhythms or the style that can go into a ballad song. So <laughs> that's, that's where it starts to get uh, more complex, but it's good to know, it's just good to know. Have both names in your brain, Baladi and Masmudi Sagir, and then depending on who you talk to, one or the other will be easier to communicate. <laughs> yes, well, how do people notice all? 
They study it. How do you know anything? If you get interested in it, you figure it out because you like to get more uh, information about it. One thing I can recommend is uh, two things. One, the internet. <laughs> There's a lot of great links now with sound bites where you can hear the rhythms. Uh, Makam is one, I will add the link. And a great book that my uh, husband got. I know it's mirrored, but I'll add a picture that's unmirrored later. It's The Art of Middle Eastern Rhythm by Kobe Hagar. He's a drum maker. These are his drums. Goblet drums, for those who like the goblet squats. You can goblet squat these drums. And it has a message. Enjoy the book and life. It's in um, Hebrew, English, German and French. And it has how to play a drum, how drums are made, but also uh, so how drums are played, but also rhythms. And they are written in classical way, as you can see. Not these and these for dooms and texts, but as a musician would write them. So it's a great, great book. Art of Middle Eastern Rhythm by Kobe Hagor. Also in Spanish. <laughs> I hope you can still get it. We got this 15 years ago when Ernst first got interested into drumming. We'll see. We'll see. If you can get it, highly recommend it. But there's many good books. Yes, 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 yes. And once you have heard the names, you will start recognizing them everywhere. There's good websites with lists. Yes, it's a wonderful book. Yes, yes, Spotify. Now with the internet, as an answer, don't fear the rhythms anymore. You can figure it out. If you have a start, then you're good to go. So Masmudi Sagir, small Masmudi, two dooms in the start, one doom in the middle. And what you do to it, that's the typical belly dance stuff. That's when the dancer starts to drop those hips and stuff like that. So if you would move your upper body to a Masmudi Sagir, you would move hips more, but in theory, your upper body would be not all the way out, not all the way personal, but in between, casual. Casual posture, I think feels best for this, so your hips can move. Yes, yeah, so a little bit out if you're on stage, a little bit more in if you're close to people, but it's, it's about the belly and the hips. Okay. Next, next. I have to be tight, otherwise I'm too late for the interview with Mr. Dennis. Hi, Asiya. Yes, yes. So next rhythm, also 4-4, uh, four, four, so four steps before it repeats, if you would step on it. That's an intuitive way to figure out if it's long, short or medium. Similar but different. It's almost between two rhythms. <laughs> I hope you can hear it. Anyone? I will say the doom so it's easier. Doom tech, doom doom tech, doom tech, doom doom tech. Yes! 10 points from Germany for Caroline. For Sweden, yes? <laughs> so Saidi, very interesting because it has a very rich um, background and it's an easy one to recognize because of the folkloric uh, <laughs> surrounding. Yes, 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 you can watch it later. I know, it is interesting, I know. I, I, I haven't do dove deep enough into it to be a true rhythm teacher. So I hope this is enough to, to get you started. Anyway, Saidi, I love it. And it was a favorite of many people. Thank you for sharing, by the way, sharing your favorite rhythms. It was interesting to see. And some of them I didn't even know. So I will look them up in the big book. Saidi is, can happen in a ballady progression. So <laughs> for drummers, but it is its own rhythm. It is similar to Maksum which is the, the oldest rhythm, doom, tech, tech, doom, tech, but only one doom there and there. It is similar to Masmuri Sagir or Baladi, doom, doom, tak, tak, doom, tak, tak, but because the two dooms are in the middle, it feels more heavy. Yes, yes, watch it and drum along if you are a drummer, <laughs> drum dancer, uh, dance drummer, or you can do zills to it. So it's doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, as opposed to doom, doom, tak, tak, doom, tak, tak. So the doom tech, doom doom tech, because of the double doom, it's almost like it pulls you down in the middle, one two deeper than the doom doom tech tech doom tech tech would, doom doom tech tech doom tech tech or doom tech 
do doom tak. <laughs> you will not dance like this to it, but what I do, if a Saidi happens, for those of you who don't know Saidi at all, it is the dance of the south of Egypt. Uh, and they call it Upper Egypt because in Egypt you you can choose what's up and down, by the way. North is not necessarily up, it's just in our schools how we learned it that North is up. In the universe, up can be down, yes? There is no up. <laughs> anyway, uh, for our uh, Western understanding, the north of Egypt would be where the Nile is, uh, the delta, so Giza. And if you follow the Nile all the way for us down to the middle of Africa, that's where the Saidi area is. So Saidi is the name of the area, of the people. They say, I'm Saidi, Anna Saidi. And the name of the folkloric dance of the region and the name of the rhythm. So one name, four meanings. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And this, this makes it easy to dance to Saidi. Once you know what it is, you can look up Saidi. You will find all the folklore. You can take Saidi classes with Saidi dancers. There's a lot of very good Saidi dancers. Male dancers, um, I would recommend, even if females dance it differently, to also take classes with a male Saidi dancer, just to have a taste of where it comes from. Because it used to be a man uh, fighting stick dance, yes? It's martial, martial art almost. And that's why this gives you more attitude. The rhythm wants to give you more attitude, it's in it and it gets you. So <laughs> to give yourself this strong warrior-like, even if elegant, warrior-like uh, feeling, you connect your center more. So I would say, Saidi, it can be open and proud, but you are more grounded. And I do this with my belly. I'm counting this as upper body, yes. <laughs> it's be up, up from my hips. Yes, no, no worries, Susanna. Happy you are here anyway. Uh, so from here, you can catch what you can from here. Uh, from here, instead of bringing my center of gravity up and out, I would bring my center of gravity in and down. So I do this with my belly. If this music changes from something external to Saidi, I take a few moments to roll my belly in and down and I keep it there. Try this out. Relax your belly. If you can, do a belly roll. If you cannot, imagine you are doing a belly roll. And the point where the belly goes in and down, that's where you keep it. So it's, it's not just in, it's in and down. In and down. Like you have a rolling pin. Before you release, that's where you keep it. And you walk around with that. Yes, it influences where your chest is. You can still pull it out, but it's a bit more restricted. So you pull, but the belly's in and down. Instead of for the mafuf, you were all the way out. Now it's more in and down, there you were up and out. So in and down, then you pull the chest. Your hips will feel more heavy, yes? And that makes a Saidi feel easier to dance to because the rhythm, even if you just do a side tap, is completely different if you don't engage and pull in your belly. Try that, let's try that. Let's make it weird and then make it okay again. So no engagement at all, <laughs> let it hang, so just like this, <laughs> disco <laughs> in the 80s, for those of you who were born in the 70s like me, or maybe 90s. Now make it malfouf, so from here I lift up my belly button and I reach out with my chest, now it feels like it's hard to find the floor, yes? I want to go, I don't want to stay here and hang out. Now, option three, rolling in and down, in and down, you can do it a couple of times, keeping this in and down, even with open chest, keeping this engagement. Now, the rhythm feels like it's not too slow. You can even hop on the heels, but I'm pulling in and down. If you lose it, do another belly roll and hold it. If you want to do upper body, you can do the same with the shoulders. Down, 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 down. And that would feel... <laughs> that would feel more natural than lifting out and doing big hands. Walking like that, which felt super natural. Amafuf is now somehow next to the music. And if you pull in and down, 
Just relax your shoulders and do this. Nothing else, nothing special. No special Saidi step yet. It's already more harmonious because of the body language, where you put your energy. And in the back of the mind, you have stick fights <laughs> and men being manly, manly. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. And you're, it's all you. You're the same person. You just get different aspects of yourself for the music. Okay, okay. I'm going over time a little. I want to do two more. <laughs> then I have to run to this corner of my living room. Let me show you. I have made a little... Uh, I have hung a new background. This will be for other pictures on my door. And I will move the ring light there and then I will do the interview with Mr. Dennis. Come check it out, instagram.com slash online for children at 13.30, so in 20 minutes, I'll be interviewing our ne next guest teacher for Dance for Children. So <laughs> be there, I'll be there. Next rhythm, <laughs> next rhythm. This is a longer one. So if we step on it. Hi, Johanna. <clears throat> partner in crime of Dennis and our current guest teacher of Dance for Children. She did an amazing workout. Okay, I have to listen to the rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. I'm pointing at the dooms. Anyone recognize? It's doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom, six, seven, eight. Doom, doom. Yes, Caroline, doom. That's the big mass moody. It also has two doom in the beginning, one doom in the middle, and uh, <laughs> it's kicking out. Like the baladi or mass moody, small mass moody, it has two dooms and then one, but this one is twice as long. And that's why this one is called big mass moody, mass moody kibir, and the other one is small mass moody, mass moody sagir. But they're all masmuris because of the two dooms and then the one. It's just that they're stretched out in time more and it makes them feel completely different. The melody is more like la 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 dancing and this one feels more, more important. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for me personally, more dramatic. If I hear a masmuri, <clears throat> usually it's played with loud dooms, doom, doom, ra ta ta, doom. It feels like a statement, like you want to say something important <laughs> yes so on the stage that's where you get out your inner drama queen and you throw it all out there no holding back on a masmudi kabir that's like the biggest rhythm there is for dancers so if you want to go all out that's why you do it that's why you go for it go for it and we will do this in one of our months i will make a plan <clears throat> so you can tune in uh, for your favorite months and tune in on your not favorite months maybe you will like it more than you think so big mass moody for the upper body because that's what we do today we don't have time for the rest that will come would be <clears throat> similar to malfouf our first rhythm feels long ago when you are open but uh, it's not only open to the front it's open centered so i will be not as far out i will be a bit more centered so i can drop some drama <laughs> yes i would make myself open and big but also strong so it's a mix between the saidi warrior and the princess you're the princess warrior <laughs> for masmudi kabir yes you're both you are strong but you also want to uh, express yes let's try this let's try this let's walk on masmudi kabir Warrior princess like. If you know Xena, <laughs> I'm aging myself. Xena, warrior princess. Or Wonder Woman. How would she walk? Yes? Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> it's, it's almost like your. Doom, doom. Even if you do an accent in with the chest. It's strong, yes, it's open, but there's real power between it, uh, underneath it. Or if you go up. You want to really punch, 
Pe vânt clamă. <laughs> so even if you do just the chest, but it's on the doom, it fits the music, yes? It's a long rhythm. But if you find the doom, you can dance to it and don't worry about all the things in between. The long rhythms, even though they look more intimidating on paper, are the easy ones because you only need to find the dooms. And then you're free to do what you want. Okay, we do one more. Two more. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Two more for today. Let me see. Uh, Samai we had at the beginning. We will get back to it. But I want to do the... I almost said which one it was. What's this one? Also long, but different. Eight steps. And then it repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The break is also a count, yes? Yes, six, seven, eight. Doom, doom, da. Doom, doom, doom. So it's similar to the Masmuri Kibir, but it's still different. And this one, um, this one is not really Arabic. It is used in Arabic music sometimes, but it has an Egyptian sister, which is called the Wahda Kabira. And there you only have the first doom. Boom. And for us, it feels very similar. Boom. And it's, it's free after the first doom. So it's boom. Doom, doom, ta for the shift to tally. So the doom, doom, ta at the end, giving you some holding on. But the one with just the doom that feels the same and does not have the doom, doom, ta, that's probably Wata Kabira. You can dance to it the same, but you won't have the dooms in the middle at the end. And that is used for tarab, for singing music. So uh, Um Kalthum songs often have Wahda Kabira. And that feels the same as the Shiftetelli, only the Shiftetelli has some more dooms to play with. I personally grew up in dance in mixed Turkish-Egyptian um, influence. So my first teacher mixed up the music and the styles. That's why I learned about the Shiftetelli before I knew about Wahda Kabira, but they are very similar and you could interchange the atmosphere. Maybe not the rhythm, but the atmosphere is the same. And for me, it's one of my favorites. It's the first one I got to know. I was a baby dancer, my second class. My teacher played this rhythm and we did just a simple combination and I was hooked. That's when the rhythm got me and that's how I started wanting to learn more about belly dance. I went to belly dance because of Shakira and uh, the wherever whenever video with the hip drops and twists i wanted to learn the moves and then i came to class second class i wanted to learn more because of the music so it all fits together yes hopefully this series might spark some more passion and love for dancing again because of the rhythm so shift to telly <laughs> long story short is also a bit complex because it's used in turkish um, music but also Mediterranean it's not just Turkish also in Greece you have a dance form called shifty telly written differently and it's faster and it's it's like Greek belly dance you could call it it's a whole style it's not just a shifty telly rhythm but it's one of the rhythms in there it's like melody and the yes <laughs> so shifty telly uh, know that there is more to it than just a rhythm there's also a Greek uh, sister, faster, and it's the dance style, the area, the atmosphere, more rhythms in there, but it's part of it. Yes, what we will do, <laughs> shift the telly rhythm, is used often in um, longer live music pieces or longer songs. You might hear this rhythm or in a drum solo, and it changes the atmosphere from upbeat or folkloric to classical improvised. So that's a perfect rhythm for taksim, for instance, for musicians to improvise and for the dancer to improvise, because all you need to find is the doom, the first doom, doom, da, 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 doom, doom, da. You can go over the other dooms 
in a soft way so you don't have to doom doom ta to make it fit the shift telly. Shift telly is more free. The first doom though, if you catch that one, then it feels satisfying because it harmonizes with the music. I think we're going to end with shift telly, even though there's more. We could do samai, but I'm gonna keep it for the series. Yes, so all of the rhythms that we did today, we will cover them separately with more moves than just upper body, also feet, also hips, in the next 11 months. So tune in every last Wednesday of the month here in the Facebook group. Share this video with everyone you like. Invite everyone to this group that you think might like it. It will stay here for free to the end of the year. And then I think I will donate it for sale via Dance for Children so you can download it for a small donation at the end of the year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good plan, yes. Let's listen to Shift to Telly, move to it and cool down to it because you can... I will show you where the doom is without saying it. With the upper body. So if you want to have a big doom, you prepare. <laughs> and then you have to wait. Best way to wait is to breathe, yes? It's also a great one for belly work. The do side. Other side. Now up. 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 That's it. See, that's how fast a minute goes. <laughs> That's how fast 45 minutes go if you have a topic that's interesting to you. So I hope, I hope this has been uh, interesting and fun for you to do. A little taste, a little taste of what we will be working on this year. I'm excited to, be, to have a project that <laughs> I danced my hip scarf off. <laughs> so I know it's time to stop. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting for me to have something that is longer so I can plan ahead a bit and put all my inspirations in there so I have more time to gather it. I know the weeklies were fun last year but I think something like this that's rich will give you more to work on in between every class. So hopefully it will inspire you, get you moving. That's the main goal of me as you saw in my mission. Get you guys moving, keep myself moving and move the world in a better way. Um, so come catch me on Instagram right now <laughs> in 10 minutes. I'll have a quick sip of coffee and then I'll see you there. If you enjoy this, I will add links for the book and for the CDs that I use and also maybe some links where you can find rhythms. If you have any tips on good teachers for rhythms, it doesn't have to be musicians, also dancers like Charizard, add them in the comments and I will put them up in the description so you have a good list of where to go if you want to learn more. I think that will be interesting. So we collaborate on this series. You're very, very welcome. I enjoy, um, you know, dragging up knowledge that is kind of dormant in my mind because I haven't worked a lot with belly dance rhythms in the past year. There was no opportunity, but I think it's good. It's good now. It's time for using the movement and connecting it to the music. Yes, yes, yes. Rhythms are a lot of fun. And thank you guys for being here. Without you, it will be only half as fun, you know. <laughs> I enjoy the interaction that Facebook Lives gives me. And also this way I can know what, what resonates and what has known and what is known, not known yet. So I can, we can build it together like this. So thank you very much for being here. I will upload this video. It will stay in the group. And I will add information links in this week. So, but now I have to go. I will see you on Instagram.com slash online for children for interview with Mr. Dennis in a moment. Bye-bye. See you soon.